51-17, your final. BYU over Boise State. Zach Wilson led the way. He talks with the press via Zoom right now. Let's join in. Switched up, but really each week is another opportunity to keep proving ourselves. And uh, tonight was a big one for us. These guys don't like to lose at home. Um, and to come out with a win like that was huge. Uh, you know, so I think that statement continues and um, it means nothing unless we keep winning. Go ahead, Jay. Okay, sorry about that. Zach, I know you don't like to talk about two years ago and what happened here, but uh, con- contrast the feeling you have tonight to that two, two years ago, and, and do you feel like you got some redemption for that at all? Yeah, you know, I wouldn't say redemption. You know, I really, I really think this is a new year, a new team, um, new team for them, new team for us. Um, you know, everything, everything is different, you know, compared to two years ago. It's um, little flashbacks, though, you know, when you're walking around and you're seeing the hotel and uh, all that stuff, you know, some memories fly by. And, um, you know, but last, you know, two years ago was upsetting loss, I would say. Um, but a great learning experience for me, the rest of the team, the situations. You know, I, I remember watching that film the film last year and the film from 2018 and, and just saw how much better we are as a team, you know, like, like that year, you know, you really, you really thought, you know, we really thought we were a good team, uh, 2018, but we go back and we watch that film now and we're like, geez, we are so much better now. You know, I think that gave us confidence going into the night because we really knew that we have progressed a lot as a football team. Let's go Mitch, Sean, Jared. Yeah. Kalan or Zach, uh, Kalani mentioned, uh, earlier that you guys in, in the halftime locker room were, were already talking amongst each other, trying to make adjustments on the fly. Kind of maybe describe uh, what that halftime locker room was like uh, as you guys it set off a, a 35 point second half. Yeah. You know, the halftime adjustment was just to keep the energy up, keep going. You know, we knew uh, we had some other tricks up our sleeve. We knew we'd be able to come out and, and fire, you know, not every drive is going to be perfect. And um, you know, credit to those guys. They're a great football team, you know, even, even still, we put up that many points, but they're still great. You know, I, I would I would never say anything different. That's a good football team, a great defense. You know, we had to we had to earn that tonight. And so, really, the adjusting was was really just getting to the getting to the offense and try and find what things we can adjust and 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 really just react to what they were giving us. It was really nothing special, but keeping the energy up. Go ahead, Sean. Yeah, Zach, we've talked a lot about you. You obviously had a great game tonight, but how easy did Tyler make it with the way he was running and some of the reads he was making and, and a couple he had a couple nice blocks for you too there. Just how easy was he making it out there tonight? Yeah, the run game always helps, man. Uh, that was a huge key in, in this game was being able to establish that run game. Uh, the big boys up front did a great job. We were making them have to respect it. And, uh, you know, there was times where we had wide open throws because of uh, their ability to – to gash them in the run, and those guys were biting, and we were able to throw the ball over their head a couple times because of it. Zach, Kalani talks all the time about how he just wants the team to keep getting better. That's kind of his mantra that we've we've heard week after week. You guys have passed every test that we've seen. How do you gauge that improvement that he's always demanding? How do you kind of gauge where you're at in that process? Yeah, you really gauge it by watching the film, not looking at the score. Um, there was no score on this game. You can, you always learn something, you know, we're all going to go back and watch this on the flight and there's going to be a bunch I want back. You know, there's gonna be some, some of the old linemen want back the coaches want back, whether it's calls or um, you know, the defense or even hands team tonight want back. And so learning experiences and everything, um, no matter how much you win a game, uh, there's always something you can learn from. And, and that's the, that's the message each week going in watching that film and finding what we can get better at and uh, improving on that. Okay. Last two questions, Hunter, then Norma. Yeah, Zach, you're having a really special season, uh, but you've got some wideouts and some playmakers out there on the field with you that are helping you uh, do your job really well. You're able to get them the ball into some tight windows where they still got to make the grab. Uh, what can you say about Dax Milne, Gunnar Romney, Isaac Rex, Neil Pau, just kind of the weapons you have on this offense? Yeah, man, I can't say enough about those guys, really. Um, tremendous progress from those guys. You know, I'm so happy for all of them. And uh you know, their confidence is, is shooting up each week, each, each, each play, you know, there's plays tonight where I know it's tight coverage or um, I know the throw is going to be hard, or maybe I underthrew it or whatever. And those guys are coming back and making plays, you know, uh, Dax smoked someone on out and up. And um, I tried to drive him the ball and it was underthrown. He did a great job coming back and making a catch. You know, there's another one on the sideline to him, try to throw a back shoulder on the run, scramble drill. And that dude's 
getting getting dragged down, hugging the sideline and coming up with it. And um, you know, we saw the great catches from Neil and Isaac as well. You know, Neil Neil played his heart out tonight, and then you know, Gunner had his flashes there at the end too, where he's coming back and and making tremendous catches, knowing he's going to get blown up by a safety on one of the plays that we called, and he holds on and and he takes it. And uh, you know, I'm super super happy for those guys, man. They've been they've been balling out and making my job look easy. The rivalry with Boise State is still fairly new in comparison to the other rivalries that you guys have. And Boise State has arguably won the series as of last year. But with two back-to-back wins against them, do you think maybe BYU is turning the tides in that rivalry? Yeah, really, it's hard to say. You know, they're a great team. And every year they got a new team and we got a new team. So uh, the approach is the same every single year. Um, you know, it's great to come with a, a win two years in a row, but, you know, we even had a different team last year, different guys playing last year. And so um, really we're just focusing on right now. And it was a, a great, a great win for us right now. Cause that's a, that's a good football team. Okay. Thanks Zach. Congrats on Thank the win. You. We'll come back with more post-game coverage from BYU. The Cougars defeat Boise state 51 to 17. This is the Cougar post-game locker room show on the new skin BYU sports network. Neil Pau targeted five times tonight, five catches for 75 yards. He's talking to the press via Zoom as BYU defeats Boise State 51-17. to Go ahead, Sam. There we go. <clears throat> Neil, um, you, you talked about keeping the foot on the gas there for, for this game. How important was it for you guys to make that kind of a statement, you know, to kind of put up the style points knowing that maybe – uh, you know, there's a lot of folks on the East Coast that don't get to see you guys when you play this late. Was it important for you guys to make this kind of a statement tonight? I think we wanted to make it a statement, uh, show the, kind of the team that we truly are. Uh, we're still not giving the credit that we deserve, but again, we're going to focus on us and focus on what we can do to get better each and every week. But on the back of our minds, we know that we have to put up the style points and put up those things necessary to not only move up in the rankings and hopefully fulfill some of those dreams that we want. Um, so we knew it was a statement game and happy that everyone came out and played the way that we knew we can play. Let's go Maxwell and Jared. Neil, BYU's performed um, really well in the red zone this season, especially compared to some of the seasons past. What, what would you say, um, how, how do you speak to that success and what would you say has led to that success this season? Um, I think it's just maturity, maturity across the group. Um, I think we're able to throw in more formations than just run 11 personnel, kind of three receiver sets. We're able to get down in 23 packages and just run the ball with, uh, with Mason or with Tyler or Beanie, whatever it is. So we're able to change it up. Um, but I think it's just maturity across the board. We understand when we get down there, we have to be even more consistent than we are when we're not, uh, not in the red zone.